Computational thinking is a problem-solving approach that uses algorithms, data, and simulations to investigate questions and develop new understandings. While this approach is not about thinking like a computer, it is about thinking like a computer scientist to solve problems. First, let's look at algorithms. An algorithm is a repeatable process that delivers an expected result in the same way that a cook uses a recipe to create and replicate an entree. When people create algorithms, they break down, or decompose, complex processes into a series of smaller, simpler steps. In an elementary school classroom, this might look like students creating step-by-step -step instructions, programming a robot to draw a picture. When creating algorithms, students focus on developing procedures that, like a computer scientist, they can test, compare, and improve. Gathering and analyzing data is another approach computational thinkers use to learn about topics. Like a city planner might use land usage data to decide where and how to build a new park. In a social studies class, a student can draw more detailed conclusions by using historical data as well as documents. And so although the Flood Control Act was passed in 1928, problems still persist. Based on the data I compiled from the National Weather Service, I discovered Utilizing data is a key element of computational thinking that helps people ask questions and gain insights about topics they are researching. Simulations combine the use of data and algorithms to examine complex systems, like a meteorologist tracking weather systems or hurricanes. Simulations open the door to examine things that we can't practically study in the classroom. Let's just make the loop 7.5 feet shorter and the riders wouldn't get stuck at the top. They'd go straight through. Creating and experimenting with simulations can help students learn about systems with interacting parts. This includes everything from physical and social sciences to mathematical modeling and the arts. Technology is everywhere, at home, at school, and in the workplace. Deepening every student's understanding of computational thinking is essential to helping them thrive in a computational world. To learn more about how you can get started with computational thinking, visit digitalpromise.org.